All right, we're back. My name's Elise Nichols. I am the St. Clair County SPEAK coordinator. Um, so SPEAK is a coalition and we work, we work towards um, preventing youth substance use. And today I'm uh, joined by Tati. Tati, will you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Tati. I'm a prevention specialist and I work at IMPACT. Thanks for joining us, Tati. Um, we've done a couple of videos already. Um, and I know we have a, a video series with Mike Thomas also from Impact and he's has kind of gone through things we can do um, right now during COVID that don't involve like involve substances. Um, and there's a lot to do in our community. Um, Tati, like what are some things you do to kind of stay mentally well that don't involve substances? Yeah, so one of the things that that I like to do is arts and crafts. I do a lot of like woodwork and then also with like resin. And so that's something where I, especially if I'm stressed or anything, it's just a good way to relax at the end of the day. I can just like put music on and work on, you know, whatever project, whatever of the million projects I have to work on. Um, that's definitely something I do by myself. And then something that I would do more so like, you know, with another person is I watched this documentary, it was called That Sugar Film, it's on Netflix. And it was basically about how much added sugar is in our everyday foods. So I've tried to cut back on my sugar and then also just trying to eat more fruits and veggies because I was not good at that. And anyways, in doing so, being able to cook, um, learning new recipes is a really good way where it's gonna take a lot of time, obviously to perfect. And then also if you're eating three times a day, that's three times a day that you can prepare meals. Um, so some of my go-tos is for like, if I want something that tastes kind of like fried and crispy is carrot fries. That's been really good. And I just put them in the oven. And then for when I have a sweet tooth, I cut up an apple and then like drizzle almond butter on it. And that's been really good as well. So those are just some of the things, just the cooking, trying new recipes, finding new ways to cook food and incorporate more fruits and veggies has been something that's kept me very occupied during this time. Yeah, especially being home. A lot of us are home. Obviously, I'm not home right now, but yeah. um, we're home a lot. So we might have a little more time to explore our culinary skills. And it's fun. I've been doing the same thing. I'll just jump in. I... Um, I've been trying to be more mindful about my sugar intake, like added sugar. Um, so I've been trying to, you know, make recipes and bake things that don't have a ton of sugar or have no added sugar. Um, and I've just been trying out a lot of recipes in general and from different cultures too, like whether it be Italian or Chinese food or Thai. Um, it's kind of fun just to explore and, and do different things in that way. Um, and then, you know, it could be like a social activity too with your partner, um, with friends or something like that, cooking. It's just like a nice fun activity and you get a nice reward at the end. <laughs> Hopefully a nice meal if it goes well, right? Thank you, Tati, for coming on today. Um, I feel like we've covered a lot throughout these videos. Again, if people have any kind of specific scenarios or things that you want us to talk about, we'd love to hear them. Comment, you can DM us on the Instagram page, you can email. I always um, have a hard time saying this email, but it's speak at stclaircounty.org. Um, we'd love to hear from you, whether you want to join the coalition or just have an idea for um, an upcoming video idea. So thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.